Okay, so today in this video, I wanted to talk about the iPhone 15 Pro Max before the release of the iOS 18 and I wanted to share my experience of using this device without all those AI features that would be hitting the iPhone 15 Pro Max by the end of this year or maybe you would see a lot of those features in the June event when the iOS 18 will be finally here. So in this video, I wanted to take you through all those things that I noticed in a couple of months of using this device that is almost eight months of release date of this device so without wasting any time let us just get straight into this video and see what are the things that i've noticed and the things that i just wanted to share with you now the first thing that i want to start this video with is the battery life on this iphone 15 pro max and yes there are two different parts to this whole story the first thing is that the battery life on this iphone 15 pro max is one of the best that i have experienced and in most of the cases i figured out that the battery life is even better than my samsung galaxy s24 ultra that again is one of those devices that is having a very good battery life but the second half to this whole story is that how is the battery life or i would say the battery health on this iphone 15 pro max after almost eight months of my usage of this device and as of filming this video i checked on my device and it was having 164 cycles in the terms of the complete charge cycles on this iphone 15 pro max that i am having in my studio and i was surprised to see that even with 164 charge cycles that i had on this iphone 15 pro max the battery health on my device is just at 100 percent so i did a bit more research on google and saw that why is this the case because normally this is not what we see on the iphones or normally on any smartphone in this day and time because yes the battery does peak and I would think that with 164 cycles it would be like at least 97 or 98 percent of its battery health and not 100 percent and what I found out was very interesting now Apple claims that 1000 complete charge cycles should bring the battery down to about 80 percent which means that it is better than the iPhone 14 series which had a claim of about 500 charge cycles to bring down the life to 80 percent which means that 163 or 164 charge cycles that I'm having on this iPhone 15 Pro Max as of filming this video should really bring down the battery life to about 97 to 98 percent which was not the case and i can say with confidence that this is one of those devices that will really hold back very well if you do not have bad charging habits and if you do not plug this device 24 by 7 on the ball brick because yes the battery life and overall the battery chemistry on this iphone 15 pro max is way much more better than what you had with iphone 14 series in the last year so yes this was one of those things that i noticed and yes this makes it a better device than the samsung galaxy s24 ultra or any other smartphone that i have used in the past now the second thing that i wanted to talk about in this video is the display on this iphone 15 pro max now if you look on the papers it would look like that the iphone 15 pro max is not as bright as what you have on the google pixel 8 pro or even the samsung galaxy s24 ultra but i think that this is not really the case and in most of the situations all these three smartphones are really comparable and you cannot really find a lot of difference in fact i think that iphone 15 pro max is having a better color reproduction in comparison to what we have on the google pixel 8 pro and even the samsung galaxy s24 ultra those are the major flagships in this market with all those air loaded features that i wanted to compare this smartphone with before this smartphone itself has got all those air features included so yes i think uh, the iphone 15 pro max is not on the very cold side of the tones on the display and at the same time it's not towards a lot more warm colors like what you have on the samsung galaxy s24 ultra and this makes a lot of difference to me because i just enjoy watching content on this iphone 15 pro max versus the samsung galaxy s24 ultra and the google pixel 8 pro by the way those devices by any means are not a worse device in comparison to the iphone 15 pro max it is just my general preference that i like the iphone 15 pro max a bit more better than the other two now on to the third thing that i want to talk about here is the action button on the iphone 15 pro max and yes with the ios 17.2 update there were a few things that were added to the action button and that makes this iphone 15 Pro Max an even better device. One function that was specifically added to this one was the translate application which is not new but I can tell you one thing straight away that this is an improved version by a long leap since its original launch 
with iOS 14. I will not talk much about it, but I can say that it just integrates very well with the action button. You just need to long tap this button and it will be able to listen and convert or translate anything that you want on the go. So yes, this is one of the most useful features that I saw at least with this action button over here. Now this brings me to the fourth thing on the list that is the build quality on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and how it is holding up. And I can say you one thing straight away, the build quality is way much more better than what we had on the iPhone 14 series. In this eight months of usage, I do not have even a single scratch or dent on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. And yes, the titanium body on this one is working out really well. And in comparison to something like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, I think that this one over here is better because my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in a few months of usage, it already has got a few scratches and scuffs. And that is because of a very thin layer of matte coating on that device versus what we have on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And also the iPhone 15 Pro Max has got a great 5 titanium that is better than what we have got on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and overall I feel that the phone feels much more comfortable in the hand and also the grip is a bit more better than the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra as well because of the tapered edges and overall design on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is also a bit more rounder even though it is a bit more boxier at the same time. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the performance on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and how well it is holding up even without the AI things on this smartphone and I would say again that this one over here is better than the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Google Pixel 8 Pro by long clips. Now even without any kind of thermal solution that we have got on the iPhone 15 Pro Max I think that Apple is able to improve the thermals on this device with a lot of software updates because yes when I initially bought this device there were a lot of heating issues on this one but later eight months of as filming this video I think that the heating issues are not just there on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and I am able to play some heavy games like the Resident Evil on this smartphone over here without any issues and without a lot of heat and this is not the same thing that I can say about the other devices like the Google Pixel 8 Pro and even the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra because yes it also does get very warm a few times not as always as I would say but yes I would say that the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is maybe a better device in the terms of cooling down the things but the iPhone 15 Pro Max is not as bad as well and one thing again that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is just able to uh, handle the things a bit more better and the thermals are a bit more sustained even though you feel the heat on the back of the smartphone much more often in comparison to what you have on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now one thing that I notice over here is that as the battery starts to drain on the iPhone 15 Pro Max say below 15% or something you would see a lot of lag on this smartphone and it almost feels like you are on like 30 hertz or 60 hertz of refresh rate on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and that could be very intentional after a few software updates that we see on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I think that the only reason that Apple might have done that is to preserve the battery life on your iPhone 15 Pro Max and make it a better overall device and that is just again a very minor complaint at first I thought that my phone is on a low power mode but I checked it again and it was not the case I think this is just something that Apple is doing intentionally and I am okay with it as long as the battery life on my phone 15 Pro Max is way much more more preserved in comparison to all the other devices that we have in the market. Now the last thing that I want to mention over here is the camera quality on the iPhone 15 Pro Max because yes the cameras has got improved after my eight months of usage of this iPhone 15 Pro Max and that was not the case that I could say when I initially purchased this iPhone 15 Pro Max because at that time I could not see a lot of difference between my iPhone 15 Pro Max and what I had on the iPhone 14 Pro Max but yes a lot of things are improved on this one and especially the video quality on this phone is something that has improved by a lot at first when I started to use and record the videos on this camera the videos used to come out a bit more dark in the same lighting conditions as what I'm filming this video right now this was again not the case with the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the early days because yes as you can see over here the videos that were the older ones they were a bit more dark than what I have right now over here now the same thing is with the photographs department on this device as well as I noticed that the dynamic range has improved with a few software updates as this shot is very hard to take 
and even with a DSLR you need some kind of filter to correct this shot. I did not want to go into any nitty gritty features on this camera but yes after 8 months of my usage I can just see a lot of improvements in the terms of both the photography and the videography on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. That is a shock to me because not a lot has changed in the terms of the AI on this iPhone 15 Pro Max as of filming this video because we are not officially on iOS 18 right now. The version that I am using is iOS 17.4.2 as of filming this video. Now to wrap up I think that iPhone 15 Pro Max is one of the best devices in the market and even without any AI as of filming this video on the iPhone 15 Pro Max this is one of those only devices that stood up really well against the Google Pixel 8 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra even though all those three devices are priced very similarly. I think if it was Google or Samsung in the place of Apple, they would not have stood up really well against the iPhone in that case. And that is the beauty about the iPhones. It just takes one software to push the same software update to all the iPhones. And I think that with the iOS 18, the things would be very different on the iPhones. And it would be one of those time that when the holiday season is there, this iPhone 15 Pro Max would just sell out very well and it would outbid the sales of the iPhone 16 series as well because yes, technically this one over here is a very capable device and it would be having all those AI features that we would expect on the iOS 18. And yes, that was all that I wanted to share about in this video. My name is Anshul. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.